Hey guys, it's me, Sherry, and I thought I would do this top 10 essentials for summer tag. I was tagged by Miss May 27, and um, most of my items are beauty, beauty products, but there are a couple of items that, um, well, one item is a clothing item, and um, which I feel like it's an essential for summer. I'm surprised I haven't um, gotten one of these a lot um, earlier in the summer or a couple of summers ago but I know um, you can find these anywhere everybody wears tank tops in the summer and you always see people's bras and they don't have the right bra on or whatever and I just think instead of worrying about what bra you have underneath this is a great option um, and it covers if you do decide to wear a bra it covers the back and makes everything just look so much nicer so pretty and um, this was $27 at Urban Outfitters. I know they sell them at Victoria's Secret and Free People and probably a lot of other places. Um, I just think they're amazing little um, items to wear when you don't know, if you don't have the right bra. So um, anyway, that being said, I love that. And then probably my favorite summer item, absolute favorite summer, I can't say enough about it, is the Micro Petty. I can't believe I didn't find it know about this sooner. I absolutely love this. Um, I've gone for one pedicure this year and haven't needed to go back and it does a better job than any person that can do your feet can. I mean this thing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's 20, I think I paid $27 on QVC. It's on sale and um, I think you can get it at Walmart too. It's like $40. You can probably Google it and get it um, everywhere and it's called E-M-J-O-I so M-Joy or something like that but anyway absolutely amazing can't say enough about it love 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 this product and then um, for a lot of my summer items they are about the hair because honestly if your hair isn't right then you just don't feel right and there's two products that um, I absolutely love and I can't say enough about the first one is Trace of Me, and I've tried, um, I think it's Big big and Sexy Hair, um, I've tried a few dry sh hair shampoos, and I keep going back to this one, I love the smell of this one, yes, it does leave a bit of a powder residue, but I do try and put it where my part's not going to be, and then rub it in, and the actual white powder does go away, the smell, and I love how this leaves my hair, it gives it so much body and texture, absolutely love that, and then my next favorite thing, which, um, my hairdresser, who you all know is um, Danielle from DKW Styling. She has a YouTube uh, channel on here, and um, she highly recommended this. And it's called Quick Tease by Redken. And ah, I can't say enough about this. It's kind of like dry shampoo and hairspray, but I don't even want to call it a hairspray. But it just leaves your hair so manageable and um, gives it body uh, volume, it just does everything, it's kind of like everything all in one, um, if I had to have a one product to put in my hair this summer, it, this would be it, absolutely love this product, can't say enough about it, and I do believe it is new on the market, and it's called Quick Tease with the number 15 there, I don't know why, um, love this product. And then for all you girls with long hair, you need this whether you have extensions or not, this is amazing. It takes the tangles out of your hair so you're not ripping out your hair or your extensions. Love it. Um, and I always start at the bottom and then work my way up. And um, I use this every time my hair is wet to comb it out. And it's, I think I got this at Sally Beauty Supply, but you can probably get these a lot of different places too. And then to tease my hair, I love this pick. Um, can't get it. I can't say enough about my hair. I use the pick all the time. I don't think it damages as much as those teasing combs because um, it just doesn't seem to shred the the ends of it. Um, but I do love how this teases. I've had this pick since I was probably <laughs> I think twenty years old. I don't know. I mean, this pick is old, but um, I just love it. I don't know what I'd do if I lost it. <laughs> I'm sure there are others out there, but I just love this pick. Um, let me see, anything else for the hair? I think that's it for the hair. And then for um, the skin, uh, for lotions and stuff, um, my daughter just, it's so funny, but um, we were out shopping, grocery shopping, and she saw this and wanted to try it. And it's a body butter and a um, body wash. 
So she bought it and tried it, and one morning I was down in the kitchen, and I, she smelled amazing, and I go, what do you have on? She goes, I just came out of the shower and put lotion on, and I go, what is it? And absolutely loved it, so I had to go out and get it, and it's by Tree Hut, and this is in the scent of Hawaiian Kahlua, I think, or, yeah, I think it's Kahlua. Hawaiian, oh no, Hawaiian Kukui, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> I'm not sure how to say that. They do have a couple of different flavors, but um, this, I still can smell it on me. I mean, it's amazing, I love it. The only thing I have to say about the body butter is it is a little greasy, which I don't love, um, but other than that, I can still smell the smell. It's just, it's amazing. It's so fresh, so clean, so summery. Very beachy smell, um, love it, love it. And this you don't need a lot either. It lathers quite nicely and um, also it smells just the same as that. So amazing products. Get them in your grocery store. That's where I got it. So, And then the actual body butter that I do love is this one here. And um, I don't know if this has a name, but it's in the um, coral jar and it's a body butter. You can see it by Pink and um, it doesn't have a name on it though. But um, I love it. And I know there, there are other colors which aren't as great. I just love this one. It's like the orangey coral container. It smells amazing. It's not greasy. I love how it goes on. Um, I love the feel of it. Very soft on your skin. I absolutely love that. Um, and then another thing from Victoria's Secret, which I think they come back with this body mist or body spray or perfume, whatever they call it. It's, by, it's basic in, instinct. It's a plastic bottle, which I actually took this away to Mexico this year, um, brought it to the beach, and it's just such a great smell, a fresh, clean, um, day or night, I would say, and just, I love this smell, love it, love it, love it. I believe they come out with it in January and June, so, um, and if you can't get a Victoria's Secret, I know they also have it, um, I think, on Amazon as well, and it's not that expensive. It's like between, I think, 10 to $15 dollars. Um, I think I paid like $12.99 for this one. So um, love it, love it, love it. And I love that it's a plastic bottle because you can take it to the beach, just throw it in your bag. And when you start feeling like a little, oof, you know, <laughs> it's a great, great perfume. All right. And then, um, oh, and for tanning uh, for my legs, I actually, I love this. I've tried it. Uh, it's my first year trying this. And um, it's not a bad little spray. I actually spray it on my legs and then I use a brush to um, work it in and make it even. But, um, and the smell's not too bad, so I know there are a lot of tanning things out there that smell pretty bad. This one's not bad at all. I got it at Target. Um, it was like $10, I think, for a bottle of it, and it's not a bad color, um, very natural looking, and I believe you can get them in three different colors. I got this in deep because I, I wanted to keep my tan when I got back from Mexico, so I got the darkest one, and um, I really like it, so... And then for makeup, <clears throat> okay, so I have two eyeshadow palettes, which I've been loving. My MAC eyeshadow palette, these are all mattes, and um, love every single one. And I do have duplicates of some of them because I've loved them so much. I'm actually hitting pan on some of them. And um, they're all mattes, which I love. I love MAC shadows and um, all very neutral uh, colors in here, which I love. <clears throat> great, actually, for year-round, so I don't know. Great for summer, too. And then my Stila palette, which I've had and been using. Um, this is amazing palette. <laughs> it's so dirty. And, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, great pigmentation. Um, if you want a little bit of, I don't want to say glitter, but uh, satin uh, eyeshadows, this is a great little um, palette to have. Absolutely love the colors. They're very warm colors as well. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, and then for blushes, absolutely love these two blushes. It's what I've been wearing probably the last two months. And this one came in a kit. And um, let me see, I'm trying to see the name. It's called Pursue Your Passion. And it's a tan or kind of like a brown, bronzy color. And uh, I absolutely love that. I like to layer this. I put this on first. And then I like to put, I think this is Dainty by MAC, on over it. And I love these two colors together. Really pretty. Love them. And then um, for, oh, another, and for a bronzer, I just got this. My sister wore it in Mexico. She said, you have to get it, you have to get it. And I know I'm the last one on YouTube to get it. Um, <clears throat> finally got it. It's the Chanel uh, 
I don't know how to say it, De Soleil Tan de Chanel um, bronzer, and it's a cream like mousse kind of bronzer, and I absolutely love it. You can really work with it. Um, feels good on the skin, and so can't say, I mean, if you really want to review on it, everybody on YouTube, I think, has done one, so <laughs> really love it. And then for my lips, you guys know I, I love a great nude lip, and I was watching uh, Lisa Lisa D1, and um, she did a whole drugstore, um, things, favorite, her favorite drugstore purchases and makeup, and um, she recommended the NYX um, Extreme Lip Cream, and so um, I didn't get the color that she recommended because they didn't have it, but I got this in natural, and that's what I have on today, with the Tiramisu uh, Rimmel Lip Liner. Let's see what it says, Rimmel Lasting Finish. Anyway, it's Tiramisu, and it's by Rimmel, and I love this color, absolutely love it. This is probably my favorite new lip liner, love it. And so I have those two on together with um, Underage Over Top by MAC. And that is it. So um, if anyone wants to do this tag, go ahead. Just uh, leave a video response um, next to my video. And um, that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. And um, oh, I forgot. And my favorite jewelry item is obviously my cuff, which I've been loving since I got it. And um, it's just so lightweight. It just really, I mean, it. you can... Um, Bend it to fit your wrist, which I love. And I'm also loving this choker I got at Urban Outfitter. I almost wear it with every necklace. It just goes. I think it just adds a little more interest to your necklaces and absolutely love it. So that's it. And um, that's it. So I will see you guys later. Bye for now.